Hello, welcome once again to Leto's Law. I'm Steve Leto. Heard a great story out of Iran. Not the song by a flock of seagulls, but the place on the other side of the planet. Uh, and this is out of the New York Times. Tehran orders crackdown as wealthy use ambulances to beat traffic. See, <laughs> apparently traffic in downtown Tehran is very, very bad. So if you want to get around it or through it, you hire an ambulance and treat it like it's a limo. But the cool thing is limos can't run red lights and speed, whereas ambulances can. What a great scam. Uh, so, for instance, uh, wealthy Iranians and even private tutors preparing students for national university exams hire ambulances uh, as a private car and a chauffeur. And this has become the latest trend in a country with no shortage of time-consuming and frustrating traffic jams. Uh, so the practice, of course, is illegal, even over there. But all the ambulance companies reached by phone this past week expressed concern that the abuse of the emergency service vehicles would create a serious breach of public trust and impede the speedy transfer of patients to and from medical facilities. And of course, like I said, that's because ambulances can run red lights and other cars get out of their way. What happens when people start thinking, oh, that's not a sick person. That's just some rich person who wants to get someplace faster than me. So many Iranians are calling for the authorities to crack down, but the hiring of ambulances for non-emergency purposes continues. The phenomenon spilled into the news this past week when Tehran's head of ambulance services spoke about it, but companies said they've been getting requests for a year now, or possibly even longer. Uh, the head of the Naji private ambulance service in Tehran, which recently received a call from a famous soccer player, said, unfortunately, we get these kinds of calls from rich people and from celebrities, <laughs> like actors and athletes. Uh, he said he's been in charge of reservations uh, at his company for 15 years, and the company declines such requests because our job is to transport sick people. We are not a taxi service with a siren for the rich, he said. Tehran is a city of 14 million, and unregulated construction and development have turned it into one of the world's worst places for traffic jams and resulting pollution. Major highways can resemble a parking lot with stalled vehicles at virtually any hour of the day, like Los Angeles when I went to law school. <laughs> The city's deployed creative methods to curb the traffic problems. Uh, drivers into downtown Tehran, for example, do require a special permit. And there have been times when they've actually done the thing where they alternate which cars are allowed in based on whether their numbers are even or odd on their license plate. Um, none of this seems to be helping. In general, Iranians have become adept at breaking and bending rules. The average citizen has been engaged in a cat and mouse game of some kind with the Islamic Republic for 40 years. And of course, that's because they have all kinds of social and religious restrictions imposed by the authorities. Uh, so the question, of course, is how serious are these rules? So uh, some people say traffic laws are just one of the many crazy rules being imposed on us by a government that we don't like. <laughs> so around Tehran, cars routinely speed down the opposite direction on one-way lanes. They drive backwards on highway exits, and they blow speed limits, which of course happens in many places. When a police officer issues a ticket, many people, of course, attempt to bribe the officer. And uh, the bribes, you know, might become a little more commonplace. The ambulance scandal, however, to many people is a step too far. The public backlash has been severe on social media and in local newspapers, Many Iranians have criticized the government for its inability to detect and end the ambulance violations because what are you going to do? Pull the ambulance over and see who's in it? How, how sick is that person, you know? Um, one person wrote on Twitter, what a nightmare. They've ruined the city, the economy, healthcare, and now ambulance service. <laughs> and they're blaming the government for that. Shameless, someone else tweeted, accusing celebrities of insulting hardworking emergency workers. The head of Tehran's private ambulance services told Iranian news outlets this past week the phenomenon was widespread, but not limited to celebrities. He said that private tutors regularly used the ambulance as a taxi service to get to their classes on time. Uh, police forces in Tehran are so busy, they've not been able to cooperate in ending this illegal trend. The identity of the celebrities and the private ambulance services violating the law have also not been revealed. It is also unclear what measures the ambulances take to make sure the wealthy can travel in the same vehicles used to transport sick or bleeding patients. Um, 
Calls to more than a dozen private ambulance services in Tehran drew denials that they would ever do such a thing. <laughs> the business of private ambulance services started about two decades ago in response to a shortage of government ambulances, which respond to emergency calls and transport only critically ill patients to hospitals. So here's the problem. And, you know, it's, it's a matter of economics and a few other things. But, you know, uh, people in Tehran, if you have enough money, can call up an ambulance service that's run privately and say, hey, look, I need some getting around tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to sit in traffic. I'll pay you dearly. Will you do that for me? And an ambulance will show up and they'll say, sure. And as soon as they hit traffic, they turn on the overheads and zip right through. And of course, it's illegal over there. Now, the one thing I'd be worried about is I know that in some countries on the other side of the planet, uh, people who break the law aren't just slapped on the wrist. Sometimes um, there are more severe penalties that are invoked. I'm not sure about Iran, but um, uh, it's, it's a bizarre concept. Now, again, this isn't happening in America as far as we know. But then again, having heard, for instance, about how rich people were bribing their way into school, or at least their kids, bribing their kids' ways into school, um, nothing surprises me anymore. So I, I, I guarantee you, next time I see an ambulance blowing through a traffic jam, I'm going to wonder, <laughs> is that really a sick person? Or could that be a rich person doing that to beat the traffic? So there you go. Stories out of the New York Times. It's much, much longer. I just hit the highlights there. But... Uh, Tehran orders crackdown as wealthy use ambulances to beat traffic. Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye-bye.